welcome to another booktube video from me lauren from lauren and the books i hope you're all having a lovely thursday evening thursday as if the days mean anything anymore um but tomorrow's day does mean something tomorrow friday the 17th of april between the hours of 7 p.m till 10 p.m bst it's cozy reading night cozy reading night is a night that i started by running seasonally and have been running them every other week throughout the quarantine period um, whereby you just get cozy relax with a book with some snacks with whoever you may be quarantined with or if you're by yourself i'm active on instagram and twitter throughout using the hashtag, hashtag Cozy Reading Night. We just have a lovely, chilled reading time. Now, as I said, I've been doing these throughout the um, the isolation. Oh, God knows what to call it. Every time I, I mention it, I call it something different. Quarantine, isolation, blah, blah, blah. All the time this lockdown's been going on, I've been doing them every other Friday. And this is the third one. Now, to keep them a bit fresh and to keep things moving a little bit more, I've been trying to make them a little bit different every time. So the first one was just your normal standard Cozy Reading Night. Last Cozy Reading Night, David vlogged, which was lovely because it actually meant I got loads of reading done because I didn't have to vlog it. Um, and this Cozy Reading Night, we are going live for the first time during Cozy Reading Night. So on my Instagram, and I'm at Lauren and the Books on Instagram, um, for the middle hour, probably not for the whole hour, but for the middle hour, um, David and I will be going live on Instagram. We'll be talking about the books that we're reading, we'll be talking about the setup. Um, I'll still be vlogging the night, so there'll still be a vlog coming out. Um, and if any of you guys want to get involved, then during that chat, I think you can send a request to become involved. Um, and then we'll have like a little chat with you guys if you wish to do that. Tell us what you're reading, what you've been eating, etc., etc. It's always, always lovely to see people's tweets and Instagram posts and things like that when Cozy Reading Night's going on. But I thought it would be even lovelier to talk to people when Cozy Reading Night's going on as well. So if you don't follow me already on Instagram, as I said, I'm at Lauren and the Books. And from about 8pm BST, um, whether that be whatever time that is in your time zone um i will be going david and i will be going live on instagram it would be lovely if some of you'd like to get involved and tell us what you've been reading and things like that which would be amazing um the night itself um i normally split into three hours um and one of my favorite things to do is to pick three books um for an, an hour for each or an, uh, an hour per section and last time i only read one book the time before that i read two books for the whole night but this this time i'm using it as a bit of a, a mop-up old cozy reading night so although i can't split it into three hours because the middle hour david and i are going to be live on instagram um i'm splitting it into 40 minute sections so the first 40 minutes um from about seven so this is gonna be different as well because i'm not going to start in the bath like i normally do um, i'm going to start by eating dinner and i'm going to be making with my out of date tofu <laughs> um and uh, this uh, can of pineapple chunks um sweet and sour tofu now i'm going to be vlogging that recipe because it's sort of in here i made it i think i adapted it from from something from 15 minute vegan and parts of it from um uh, a hello fresh recipe we had um and yeah i'm going to be making that on the night and vlogging that so that's what we're going to be eating the first section we'll be eating a dinner of sweet and sour tofu with pineapple red pepper and green beans and rice is lovely david doesn't really like sweet and sour he doesn't like pineapple he doesn't like tofu he likes all of those things together so yeah i'll be making that which is lovely um and then i will be reading uh, the most fun we ever had by claire lombardo which is the uh, the book club book for my um patreon book club at the moment now i'm about probably just under a third of the way through this. I'm really enjoying it. It's a family saga um, about four sisters and their parents. And you sort of go back to the, the, the um, when their parents met and uh, their, uh, their, their beginnings and, and the, the conception of these four daughters. Um, and then you're, you're in current times listening to these four daughters' lives. I'm really, really enjoying it. I really love a family saga. I really love a sort of window into a family book. Um, and I'm really, really enjoying it. And also what I enjoy about these books is that because it's so big and it's a lovely big hardback it stays open like this which is such a treat um so yeah when i'm eating my dinner this will be perfect because there's no having to hold it or anything like that it just stays open so that is the book that i will read for the first 40 minutes um then the second 40 minutes which um the second part of the evening which as i said in the second hour david and i will be going live on instagram um, i'm going to read a little bit more of the break by marion keys um this was a book that i got out because i enjoyed grown ups by marion keys so much uh, when the libraries were all closed and i was like oh i must get some marion keys so i got this one out um and i've been enjoying it but i've sort of neglected it for the past few days um so i thought it'd be nice to spend a sort of 40 minute session of that so i'll probably do like 20 minutes before we go live and 20 minutes after we go live um again 
of a family saga. There's another thing as well is that I'm, I'm using this as a sort of mop up night because I've got three books on the go at the moment. Um, and I definitely thrive best at reading when I've got one book on the go. So I'm trying to make a good dent in all of these so that eventually they're all finished and then I can get back to just reading the one book. So um, yeah, another family saga, except you're following um, Amy and her husband. Her husband's decided um, that they should go on a break um, and he's gonna go and travel the world. And he, he, he's really annoying me at the moment, to be honest. Um, and I'm hoping that they can they can bring it back because I'm not enjoying this as much as I did um, I did the grown ups. I, I gro uh, grown ups, I was absolutely hooked from the first moment. Um, this I feel a bit annoyed by <laughs> by uh, by her husband's uh, just uh, decision just to sort of go off and her just having to put up with it put up with life without him um so yeah so that's what i'll be doing for the second part of the evening then we'll be going live uh, and then another 20 minutes of that afterwards and then for the third hour now i've got a subscription to something called pip box which is a um a cruelty free and vegan um box of cosmetics and things i don't get it every month i sort of dab in and out of it and actually they emailed me to say oh we're doing it half price this month if you would like to and I was like oh yeah I would like to actually yeah it'd be nice to get and it's nice to find new products that way and to get some sort of like beauty treatments it's especially seeing as like the shops aren't open at the moment so I can't go and browse in boots like I would like to um so and Lush isn't open not even taking online orders oh god um but one of the things I got sent within that was this Natura herb infused sheet mask which is for blemish control and rebalances complexion um, and I've had one of these before i actually bought one of these before from sainsbury's i think it was a turmeric one um and it was lovely and i thought well I'll, i did a sheet mask last time i had a lovely time and there's sort of like quite a low effort beauty product you can just sort of pop it on and just sit and relax and you can carry on reading um so i thought i would do that for the last uh, section of the evening um yeah this i'm, I'm hoping this is as lovely as i love herbally smelling stuff really really like herbally smelling stuff i don't use it anymore because it's not cruelty free but the clarins like alpine herb that is like my number one favorite scented item cow shed they do quite a lot of herbally scented stuff herbally scented cosmetics are like my fave so i'm hoping herb infused sheet mask it looks like it's got some rosemary some mint i don't know what else is on there but yeah old time maybe hopefully this is this is what i'm hoping i'm hoping it's going to be as good as i've, I've big myself up for and then the last book i want to finish is a book that i've really been enjoying <laughs> and it's been really like if you talk about books that have disappointed you um over the uh or, or a book that you thought you were going to really love and then end has ended up not being that great sad for me but olive kitteridge is that book for me by elizabeth strout um i have got and i've had i keep putting it down and not doing anything about it i've got just under no i've got 60 pages left um so yeah there is a chance that i could finish that and then that'd be done but yeah i've just maybe i've i've not I've not engaged with it as as good. I started reading this like when the when the quarantine first went on, and maybe I wasn't as engaged with it as I should have been. But yeah, I've been a bit disappointed by it. But if anything, I've had it a little bit boring. Uh, and I know so many people love this book, and I thought I was going to love the book, so it's as shocker to me as it is to anyone else. Um, but yeah, so that is what I'm planning to read. So three books, three sections of the evening. Um, do let me know if you are planning on joining in. Let me know what you've got planned to read. Do go over and um, follow me on Instagram if you would like to and uh, and tune in for the live. As I said, it'll be about 8pm BST on the night. The whole evening runs from 7pm till 10pm BST. I'm active on Instagram and Twitter throughout if the live isn't your thing using the hashtag, hashtag Cozy Reading really Night. And yeah. I'm really looking forward to it. I really am. I've been really, really like these. These feel very precious to me at the moment. These feel like something that I, I look forward to. And every two weeks is a good, good time. I feel like if I was doing it every week, I'd be a bit like, oh, it's cozy reading night again. But where it's two weeks, I'm like, oh yeah, cozy reading night. This time next week it'll be cozy reading night. Um, and the exciting thing is that the cozy reading night after tomorrow, so the cozy reading night, which will ne then be taking pl place on the first of May, is actually going to be a cozy reading morning. So if you are in a different time zone and you've always wanted to take part at the same time as us but you um uh, but you've it's always been like morning for you we're, we're doing this we're doing a flip reverse it so i've got the day off of work um and from 7 p 7 a.m till 7 from 7 a.m till 10 a.m on the 1st of march bst um we'll be doing a cozy reading morning so that means if you're in australia that'll be evening for you i don't know what the time zones are like all over the other place but yeah hopefully that is uh that's gonna excite some people because quite a few people say to me over the time oh would you ever consider doing one at the weekend it's so much easier for us to 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 be able to do them at the weekend but yes hopefully friday 
the 1st of May from 7am till 10am BST, wherever you may be in the world, you might be able to find it a bit easier to, to take part. So that's the announcement for the next one. But yeah, hopefully you all taking part tomorrow night, Friday the 17th of April, 7pm till 10pm BST and 8pm BST for the uh, Instagram live show. See you all then.